Hey y'all, how are you guys doing? I know girl, this is gonna be my first video without the yellow background for a while. I like to go back and forth in between, you know, what I'm gonna have up for my background. So this is another chit chat if you can't tell by now. Honey, I am serving you. I gotta go clean after I drop this child off. I know how to make hot water cornbread. You know, I'm, I'm giving you that, okay? So today I'm going to be pre-pooing, kind of detangling my hair. It is old. I don't even know how old. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're gonna be doing a pre-poo now. I love this pre-poo. This pre-poo I have in this old Miel twist and souffle. This contains aloe vera, um, coconut conditioner, olive oil, sweet almond oil, castor oil, coconut milk, coconut vinegar. Basically, it's like nappy-headed jojobas um, pre-poo, that fabulous pre-poo she has. So y'all know how we do this. This chit chat, I'm gonna be talking a long time, child. So let me make sure I keep an eye on my um, on the time here. So we're gonna be talking about what's in these YouTube streets, what I'm watching on TV, and just sharing some foolery I'll be seeing on the interweb. So let's go ahead and section off my hair. So y'all, YouTube. Three days ago, by the time I load this up, it would have been almost a week. I checked my email, email in the middle of the night because I, I'm just weird like that. And I get a lot of junk emails, so I like to make sure that I, get rid of all that clutter right so i'm checking my email and i received a notification from youtube and it basically says you have a formal complaint against your channel in order to avoid complete delish deletion or sh shutdown of your channel you need to click on this link and basically select the videos that you know apparently you're spamming your channel and i'm thinking oh my god I have been uploading almost every day. Who the hell, well, which one of these help us um, complain about me? So, I click on the link, and the link takes me to a YouTube page to sign in. And I'm like, wait a minute. Why is YouTube having to sign me in to my own channel? If it's YouTube, you should direct me to my video page and I just select that. So I'm like, you, you, nah, this, this this seems fishy, right? So I go to Google, do a quick search, and sure enough, this is one of those new phishing scams where they the hackers need for you to enter your information, and then they go in and hack your YouTube account. I'm like, okay, this is a bunch of BS, right? Okay, so then a few hours later, I get up and I start checking YouTube in general, and I see a video, a new video from Linus Davis. And I'm like, oh, she's finally posting back again because it's been a while since she's posted, right? She's down in Switzerland, y'all. Chocolate sister, right? She lives in Switzerland. She's pregnant right now, by the way. I probably shouldn't say that much. If you're Facebook friends with her, if you follow her on Facebook, you know she's pregnant. But anyway, I'm like, why in the hell is she posting Fox News videos about Trump. Okay, whatever, you know, you have every right to support whoever you want, but this doesn't make any sense. You know, I go on Facebook because I'm gonna send her a message because I'm like, sis, what's going on? And sure enough, she posted, you guys, I've been hacked. My account has been hacked and I've been trying to get it back and um, I'm like, oh my God. So she still hasn't gained access to her account and what they're doing, they're doing a complete takeover of her, of her page. Look, look at that, look look at what that pre-poo does. Let's see if we can, I have different things in front of me to detangle. I need to go get a towel, look at that, look at that. That DIY detangling, detangler is cracked and I really think it's a mixture of the aloe vera gel and the coconut vinegar, look at that. I do have a video just on this pre-poo by the way. Anyway, y'all, speaking of, I have a new celebrity crush. He young, I'm gonna have to get over it. He has an old soul though, so that, that makes up for, for the fact that he's young. Lucky Day from New Orleans. But he actually grew up in Tyler, Texas, or he, well, he stayed a while there because his accent isn't a full on, he sounds like an East Texan. He doesn't sound like some words, certain words. Yeah, he sounds like he's from New Orleans, but overall he sounds like he's from, um, from East Texas. So y'all, yeah, I have a crush. I have a crush, a celebrity crush. 
he's not he's young he's like 32 33 but i love his music it's so different i was playing one of the songs for jb what well, jb was listening to he was hearing he was like what type of music is this because it has that old school r&b r&b feel like it takes you back to early 2000s r&b you know what i mean so yes y'all that's my i'm like just wait till you turn 50. <laughs> Um, Tony and the guy, y'all, this, this man, Tony the guy is a young lady whose husband is just, it's just a shit fest. But I will say this, and I agree with you, girl, I ain't gonna call your name out, but I agree with you. We don't know the whole story. Now, I'm not saying absolutely no one deserves to be cheated on and go, go through this, but we don't know what drew, we don't know what happened because I'm telling you, Someone just does not get up in the middle of the day and says they live, they're leaving the country. It doesn't work like that. And from my understanding, she forgave him. They tried to work on it. So she's going through all these emotions and it's just sad. It's very gut-wrenching to watch. It really is. But on the same side, it's like I really do hope that while this stuff happened months ago, that she has really gotten help for She's gotten help or have talked to someone professionally about them. I will say this too. She should have, because apparently he's like, I told y'all, I believe in the last one, he's like logging into her accounts. One of the Netflix password was recently shopping under one of her accounts. Let me tell you something. The first thing I would have done was change all the passwords to the accounts. Like, secure your bag girl and i get it she was probably going through some things during that time she was probably busy but and she probably didn't think he would do this but again he has shown his true colors it seems to me like this is her first and only real serious relationship so oh god it, it's just really sad to see so um i didn't see all of the last vlog but it looks like evelyn from the interwebs went to see um was there in the the city that she's in and yeah and thank you to the young lady i think your name is st who did verify that they're both canadians thank you for telling me that oh it's just sad 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 child okay so oh look yeah it's 16 minutes in you see what i'm saying um we'll go back to youtube in a minute let's talk about some of the shows i've been watching so um, I'm still kind of watching Bloodline. It's getting a little slow, but I'm gonna still watch it. Getting a little slow. I saw a movie called Shadow of the Moon. I know you guys are probably seeing it as a recommended or it's trending. It is really good. Not really, really good, but it's different and I like it. The ending is kind of fast or sped up almost, but I like it. I really do. I, I like the movie. Um, started to watch Fracture. Um, I don't know. I'll have to probably go back and look at it. I did finish up on Power. Y'all, Power. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but everybody dying. Everybody's dying. Like, I was so shocked at what's happening. Um, and there's something going on with my Showbox. The Showbox app that I have on my Android, on my Blackberry. I know, y'all, I have a Blackberry, Blackberry hybrid, actually. And so I can't watch some of the shows I normally would. Showbox is an app that you get through your Droid. There's something wrong with it. And I'm too afraid to re-download it or really look into it because I think then it would really crash. So hopefully it will correct itself. I don't know. Um, who in the hell? This is Vivian. Card services your legal financial advisor. Now that's nice. You see how they get you? I'm finally getting my credit score up and now they want to give me more credit. No, you can keep that. Keep it. Yeah, power was good. I did catch up finally on The Walking Dead. Oh, y'all. What's the name with the Jesus dreads? Um, he has cancer. What's his name? Ezekiel. He's it's so sad. He has cancer. Those dirty ass people with the um the whispers, they are getting on my nerves. I thought they were dead. Cause I kind of missed the last the last episode. So I didn't know they were still alive. They all getting on my nerves. So Negan is back, y'all. Now that that actor who plays Negan is fine. And JP was like, he's old looking. I said, you know what? <laughs> Wait, JP looks at it with me sometimes. He's like, wow, he's that old and he made it through the zombies. I said, you know, 
JB, you don't know Negan. You don't know what he's gone through. He, Yeah, he's aged a little bit since the apocalypse, but he's gone through a lot. But it looks like Negan is back. That crazy kid. I knew that kid was going to... I'm not going to give any spoilers. I knew that kid that was fantasizing with Negan was going to do what he did at the end of this past episode. Um... Lord, y'all, do you want thick hair? Let me tell you something. You hairstyle, this is the only great thing. There's several the great things about having thick hair, but overall, styles look great on thick hair. So, back on Netflix, looking at some stuff, I did get a recommendation for Tall Girl. I don't know. I did put a couple of, added a couple of new shows to my list. Um, what did I add? The Good Place. We'll see how that goes about a woman who dies and she ends up in a place called The Good Place. I'm like, okay, is this purgatory? What, what, what is it? Um, with Ted Danson. Grace and Frankie, or Frankie and Grace, whatever. I heard that's really good, so we'll see. Um, y'all, I have, what do you say? What is it called? Game, G-O-T, Games are Thrown. I would literally probably never watch that show. And I am a medieval, swords, Harry Potter type of person. I like that. But I don't know. I just I just feel like it's been such, so much hype about Game of Thrones that I don't, I would probably save that till I'm 60 years old to binge watch. Marion, Marion, it looks a little thriller, horror-like. And then Nurse Jackie. Out of all those four, I think I'm gonna start with Nurse Jackie first. She looks like she has a lot of problems. I could be able to relate with her. Besides the drug issues, I could probably relate to her. So we're gonna start with Nurse Jackie first. But let me know, y'all. Give me some more recommendations because I really do watch. I'm not just sitting at home <laughs> binge watching stuff. I typically watch um, Netflix while I'm working. Okay, so yeah, y'all give me some recommend recommendations. Give me some recommendation buzz. I saw your last comment girl. Send me a message I'm here for all and it doesn't matter. It could be um It could be anything. I I'm willing to look at anything It just can't have a lot of sex <laughs> Y'all I'm conservative, but not really there's just certain things that I I'm okay this is how I feel like. I'm very, I have to be very careful. We all honestly should be very careful what I see, okay? As far as other TV goes, uh, I don't know why, but I'm missing the, the Hallmark movies, y'all. I gotta, I gotta start watching. I mean, like I said, I've been watching so much YouTube lately. You know, it's Hallmark time. I love me a good Christmas Hallmark movie. Uh, you know, they stay stuck in a snow globe and he's gonna come out with clean shaven and you know, the cute little sweater and save her. Lonely ends up in a Santa Claus town. I love it. It's so corny and cheesy, but I love it. Oh, I did add on Netflix. I did add one of those, uh, <laughs> those horribly produced, uh, B rated, um, black movies. It has, I think I've already seen it before. It has Vivica Fox, Corman and Letra, and someone else. It's basically, they are the female players. Um, yeah, I love me. This is so corny, and it's probably gonna be bad. It's gonna be so bad that it convinced you it's good. You're gonna be like, damn, Vivica should have won an Oscar for this movie. Like, that's how bad it is. Look at that. Look at that body. Look at that body. But it's dirty. It's dirty body. Speaking of dirty body, y'all, stuff that I've been seeing on face on, on social media in general. So <laughs> It's gonna tie in, I promise you. Summer Walker. Those of you who don't know, Summer Walker is a R&B singer from Atlanta, Georgia. She sings a couple of great ballads, and from what I understand, she, from what I understand, she writes um, some of these ballads, music. Um, she's different. She's different, and I'm not sure if I like Summer. Um, she has a beautiful voice, but y'all, she, I don't know what these millennials sunk, because I know I have millennials who watch me. I have no idea what, what these kids are thinking. Why in the hell would you get a face tattoo? She's a beautiful, breathtaking, beautiful girl, and she has a couple of face tattoos, and she's probably not thinking. You know, she's probably not thinking 
about the future. You can't be 80 years old and um, Wayward Pines home, that's a show too. You Wayward Pines home out in Atlanta with your grandkids and you got face tattoos all of you. They ain't gonna be a cute look, Summer. But anyway, I digress. About two weeks ago now, Summer had posted a picture on Instagram and was basically like, um, here are the products I use for my whole bath. I don't like taking showers. So this is what I do when I take a whole bath. And people were like, what? <laughs> show y'all what this look like hold on so y'all seriously the instagram this, this was on instagram she shared a picture just like it y'all know that fully looked just like this she had a bowl with a bunch of stuff in it cleansing stuff and she basically was like i don't like to take showers so instead i like to do my what i call my whole my whole bath do what girl so the, let, let me just say this I'm not gonna sit up here in front and say that, you know, there has been a time where I take, we call it a bird bath. But Summer makes, Summer literally said, I don't like to take showers. So you know, you know black Twitter. You know <laughs> black folks. Two things that we are very, very, you know, vocal about is how we cleanse our bodies and cleanse our chicken, our food, our meat. So of course they snap. And we're like, wait a minute. So you don't, you don't take baths. You just like to get in, in what so she came back of course she came back later on was like that's not what I meant you know um and this is me paraphrasing she cleared it up and basically said she does take showers but she prefers prefers baths she's like she likes to soak in the bathtub uh-uh no the damage has already been done you you, you should have cleared that up in the post you, you know better you know better so, so of course it's shade room Sheraton and this has been a while right this is my thing though she made it seem like those little uh bird baths are something that she do consistently girl your skin is the largest arguing on your body if you don't get your little butt and she's a little petite little girl if you don't get your little ass in a shower i would rather take a bird bath and i would prefer to soak in a garden tub then she said some shit like so some of the comments were like summer summer walker like she needs some summer eve these kids you know that's some things they need to be besides financial literacy they need to be teaching you how to properly take your bath even though uh, quiet as the kept that's up to your parents to, to teach you i'd be letting jay be known i had to get my husband hold on y'all you gotta start this stuff early because by the time they're teenagers they're gonna be secreting all types of shit so i had to get my husband when jb was just four years old you need to show him how to properly clean his penis i don't have a penis i never had you know this so you need to proper, properly teach our child how to lift up do all the magical dust you need to do to make sure that he he is clean okay so what else is going on what else y'all oh y'all before i came on i know this is old tea this is old Kojak tea, but it's kind of relevant because of the new movie. So Lifetime is supposedly working on the clock sister biopic, and I am here for, I am you brought the sunshine, you were the life, no, I can't sing, in my life. Running away, running away. Okay, y'all, y'all, I'm sorry. The Clark sisters are one of my favorite gospel singers my favorite gospel but girl after some of this tea i just read about i don't know um a real quick, quick backstory y'all know i'm crazy so back in the 2000s i would make people i would make my friends um cds i would burn cds i mean we would have you know crunk music little john um chopped up screwed up screwed up music from houston music from louisiana but the last two songs would be a clark <laughs> a Clark sister song and my friend's like Vivian why are you I said you got to end it with Jesus you know you you were pop locking and dropping you doing all this ratchet shit for the first 10 songs and then you need to end it end it with the Lord and so they were always my friend Wanda still to this day she's like, I could always tell when I have one of your CDs because you end it with a Karen Clark share or something I said yes praise him all the glory goes to him <laughs> anyway y'all <laughs> um I am here for the Clock Sisters bio biopic. I understand that Kiara is going to be playing one of the sisters. 
But y'all, we all know y'all. That is the most petty drama church people. Now, take it for someone who grew up in the church. Now, I didn't grow up in a big church. Um, it was supposed to come out this year, but nothing's happening. So now they're talking about February of next year, right? And I'm a little, I don't know, I'm, I'm a, they need to get it right. Cause Lifetime, they really screwed that up. Well, they, did they do Aaliyah? Child with that milk jug head looking R. Kelly. So the Clark sisters. We know, those of us who are familiar with the Clark sisters, that there is a, another sister who actually left the group. For years, the rumor, the rumor was that she got kicked out. Denise, Nisi is what they call her. Denise got kicked out because she had a baby out of wedlock. And actually, she ended up having multiple children out of wedlock. Um, you can't do that in the 70s and 80s. Hell, up until the 90s, it was frowned upon. Y'all, it's not like how it is nowadays where these kids, these young girls and, and, and men are popping out babies at a drop of, you know, whatever. And it happens. You know, that's what happens when you have sex unprotected. You're going to pop out a baby sooner or later. I guess I'm saying the frequency of that occurring back then was, yeah. So, um, it was frowned upon. It really was. If you were a member of this huge church called Kojak, all right? So, she ended up leaving. They tried to get her to have an abortion for the first one, actually, from what I understand. She ended up leaving because the girls started to make her feel like an outsider. But one of, and I know this is old tea. This is old Kojak tea, right? She got apparently she apparently got pregnant by one of the bishops. I don't know, was your mom Brian back at <laughs> I cannot stand me some Jamal Bryant, but that's a whole I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole. That's a whole nother subject. So she got pregnant by one of the bishops. And this is the thing that that the there is some double standards, but unfortunately, as a woman, you have to be in control of your body. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give some, some advice real quick. I know I'm all over the place, but hear me out. It is unfair. Life is unfair. But at the end of the day, as a woman, you have control to a certain, a certain degree. You have to take complete control over your body. If you are having unprotected sex with a man, and if, they're, if you know that they're not into condoms, you need to make sure that you are on birth control pills, okay? There can't be no, oh, well, he didn't use a condom. You know what I mean? Okay, but you still have control on whether or not there's, there's even the after morning pill. Okay, and now it's going to get to a point to where I think they're working on to where you don't even need a prescription to get birth control. So there's not going to be any any excuses. Birth control isn't even free in this country. So that's me preaching. We really, as I keep seeing all these stories, especially since I'm watching Fiddle Attraction, again, not going down that hole, of all these young women just having these babies blind with, with, with pathetic men. Sorry y'all. So she ends up having this, you know, having the child and multiple children after that and she left the group. Oh, but she got so much tea on these women. They are not speaking. They have not spoke besides Twinkie, which is, yeah. She has not spoken to them and um, she said, especially Karen, she has not spoken to them since, 19, since the 90s. That is horrible. That is horrible for people who who present themselves as women of God, people of God, to not even speak to your own family members. Now, uh, there's some things that are a little sketchy about Denise because I mean she's saying all, and I do believe her. Okay, however, she also doesn't her own children and some of her grandchildren don't speak to her. So you mean to tell me all your sisters and all of your kids and grandkids? I think the majority of them, not all of her kids. There's something wrong with all of it. You're the common denominator. So what's really going on? But I was listening to this interview with Larry Reed, right? And y'all, I was cracking up. Now I had heard rumors before that, you know, not all of the kids have the same father and sure enough, they don't. So the first few, the first two kids, Jackie. Okay. So Jackie isn't a real Clark. Let, let's put it like that. So, um, the mama had Jackie and one of the sons by someone else. Then she married the other girl's father later on, and that's when she had Denise, um, Twinkie, Karen, and what, the skinny one. <laughs> oh, Lord, what is her name, y'all? 
what is her name? I forget her name, but I like her too. So anyway, y'all, so I'm laughing, I'm laughing throughout the interview because Denise is like, you know, they're all, everyone makes it seem like Twinkie is the oldest sister, but really I am the oldest sister. She said, matter of fact, my my email, again, paraphrase, she said, my email is the first Clark sister at gmail.com. <laughs> I said, oh my gosh, she is crazy. So it's really sad. And a lot of it is, is pointing the finger at Jackie, apparently was trying to get the um, estate of the mom, all that information changed. She's trying to get over into Twinkie's estate. There's been rumors that uh, Twinkie is purposely being Excuse me, there's rumors that Twinkie is purposely being over-medicated. I'm like, what? Because Twinkie is a songwriter. There is money there. Oh yeah, she's, I don't know how much money she's worth, but Twinkie has wrote plenty of, plenty of music, okay, like her mama. Just a real sad situation. I mean, you know, we only see these people one-dimensional. I don't know Karen Clark Shear. I, I know her in my head. I know her runs, her riffs and runs, but I don't know her personally. She, be, she could be crazy as hell. I don't know her. <laughs> She could be like another Kiki Quiet, y'all. Kiki is crazy. I love Kiki, but she's crazy. So, y'all, you know, I really do hate to see that. You know, some of the stuff that goes on with these families, you really don't know what's, what's transpiring behind the scenes. So, besides that, the only other thing I want to talk about, y'all, these grown-ass kids living, again, so much some, not all, even some of my generation, because I'm on the cusp of a millennial. My best friend and I were just talking about that. So, especially some of my friends, I look at them and they do have the tendencies of a millennial, but not there all the way. Because again, due to our birth year, we're right there. So, I was looking at Donna's journey, and Donna's journey is a mukbanger. She has spoke about another young woman video who had came up as a recommendation for her. And I don't, I don't remember who it was now, and I really do apologize. But again, and I know I kind of briefly spoke on this in one of my other chit chat videos, grown ass kids living at home and complaining. So this young woman complaining, excuse me, this young woman was talking about how she's upset because her mom was asking her for money. And so I'm reading some of the comments, right? And these are young girls, like, and, and it seems like her, her audience, of course, caters to them. So I'm talking about hundreds of comments and I only saw like one comment in favor of the mom. One little girl was like, I shouldn't say little girl, young one lady, young lady was like, girl, I, I understand where you're coming from. You know, I'm sitting at home with my mom too. And she's, um, she, you know, she's taking advantage of me now that I have a job. She's telling me that I need to pay, to pay the next, give her some money for a bill. And I mean, at this point, I might as well live on my, yes, yes. Look, if you have a problem giving your mother some money, your parents some money for a bill, move your ass out. Pay your own rent, electricity, food, gas, internet. You got about seven or eight bills, unless you get something that's all paid, you know, all inclusive, go ahead and move out. I don't understand that. And uh, granted, I never had to go back home. I literally left college for 17, and I, I, I've been so blessed. Unless they're being all out ridiculous and they're requesting money for everything, um, they don't have to have, look, once you're over 18, you don't have to stay there. You don't have to. If you are against the rules of that household, you can leave. Y'all, that couldn't be my, let me tell you something. I will always be here for Jay, but I think that it teaches your child responsibility to have them to chip in on a bill. Hell, have them to take over. Look, if you got multiple bills, just choose the smallest bill. Go on, it's the internet. Change the internet, put it up on one of their cards so it can automatically come out. That would teach them money management. I would have no problem if JB, God forbid, oh Lord, if JB is here, if JB is here for a while and he's working, the only way I would not give my child or bill or anything like that is if they are in school. If they're in school, no problem, baby. You don't have to do anything. But if you are not in school, you got a nine to five and you bring in the money, oh yes, you about to take this internet bill you about to bring in, you about to give me some cash for these Pringles you eating up and these bananas and stuff. Y'all, that's crazy. All those kids, you know, sense of entitlement, 
sense of you know um not not really not necessarily wanting to work for they have no idea what's in store for them wait till you get some babies of your own just wait uh, yeah just wait child all right so that is it y'all for this chit chat thank you so much for watching take care bye